Hello, Sharon horn Elstom here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put a hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today is actually day 337, 336 days in a row. I have popped onto a Facebook Live and shared with you something from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. Something to stretch my comfort zone, and I hope you're doing it right along with me. Because everything we want in life and we always want something is just outside our comfort zone. It's just us reaching out and grabbing it or asking for it or moving toward it or taking an action to get whatever it is that we want. So every day I knew I was living in a bit of a rut at the beginning of the year. I decided and committed to popping on and sharing the challenge because I think of them as a little challenge of something that I can do every day, a little something I can do every day to move me toward what it is that I want, no matter what that is, because what we want is changing all the time. We set a goal, we get something that we want, we achieve that goal, and then all of a sudden we realize, huh, I want something else. That is the nature of being a human. So what do we got today? Today we've got a sayings day, handy dandy magnifying glass. It says, if no one ever took risks, Michelangelo would have painted the Sistine floor. Neil Simon said that, probably in a song. Um, and so then our challenge today says my risk today and then the blank line. So what risk can I take today? What risk are you willing to take today to move you toward what it is that you want? And again, it doesn't have to be a giant, great big risk. It can be a teeny tiny little bitty thing. It can be a phone call. It can be a smile at a stranger. Whatever is a slight risk to you that makes you feel better, that counts. So today I put my risk today is I'm going to contact Dream 100 people that I want to be part of this first woman summit or part of any of the women's summits. Decided to do a women's summit about a month ago and maybe two months ago now, the idea popped into my head. I actually said yes and started inviting people about a month ago. And now I'm like, all right, we've got not one summit, but four mapped out. And so I need to fill in all those spots. And I've got more, probably more than enough for the first one, but I want to, I want to seed that with some really cool people because I know that the things that they've taught me in my life have had such an impact on my life and my businesses. I want to make sure I share some of those people, if they're willing, with the people that will listen, the amazing women that will listen and be part of this Women's Summit. So that's it. That's what I'm going to do today that I am a little afraid of and I know it's risky. And do I know a lot of people will say no? Absolutely. Am I cool with that? Do I say no to people about stuff because it doesn't fit into my time line or my framework or the projects that I'm working on? I absolutely have to. I hate to, but of course I have to too. So why would I expect other people anything less from other people? Or other people might just think I'm great, crazy and goofy and not want to be a part of my summit. That's okay too. All right, so what risk will you take today? So we're not painting the floor, we're painting the ceiling like Michelangelo. That's it. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Don't be scared. You got this.